Prepare yourselves for a tale so utterly horrid and yet strangely uplifting. Here! Oh, I was fortunate enough to go and see the penultimate performance of The Granny Man at the Trafalgar Studios. Everything about it, the, the subject matter, the fact that it was a, a play within a play within a play, the puppeteering, every, everything, it just start, I just started to get images of this show as a motion captured piece. Your gift of love has given me life, my sorrow and heartache you have melted. We had a conversation at the beginning which was about the scale of performance, should the actors play big as if they're in a theater or small as if they're on a film and it has to be a combination of the two because we we think that what we're creating might enable an audience to wander around in the middle of a performance what we have here at the imaginarium are people who are very attuned now to to working with a lot of different creative forms of expression. Because what you're able to do in, in this world is not just like a particular take as you would in film, you're able to split up performances within that take. So you can slip timing, you can reposition, and it does encourage you to explore and, and take risks. I'm firing in three, two, one. The Imaginarium was born out of, you know, I'd like to do Shakespeare's plays as video games, or to take theatre and, and take the performances that have been worked on by actors over a course of a rehearsal period, and then somehow, you know, create a future life for them. It won't be too long in the future when you'll be able to, to buy the data and, and, and put your own designs on the character and bring it to life as a sort of, as a, as a, as a show that you're, you know, you're creatively involved with as well. This is the Imaginarium, and it's sort of, that's, there's a very, very good reason why we wanted to call it that, because it is something within which you get into the space, and it's like a, it's a, it's a cathedral to, to the imagination.